Good morning guys, my name is Kevin and today I'm going to show you how to turn your old Android TV box to a powerful media player based on Core Elec. Now what I have here is a Mi Cool MS M8 Ace Pro L media player which is uh, released back in uh, 2017-2018 so it's a pretty old uh, media box now this is running on a uh, mlogic s912 chipset which is pretty decent and uh, this box is running on uh, android 7.1 tv os so it's got a pretty nice tv os and uh, it's got white wine level one so you can watch youtube at 4k with this tv box now just to uh, show you quickly what uh, you have here with this box it's got two uh, USB 2 port and here there's a memory card slot for this micro SD card now this is where I run my uh, call elect from so I purchase a high speed uh, Sandy's uh, micro SD card now you can find the tutorial on how to uh, program this SD to be a bootable call elect SD card so I'm just going to insert this back okay now at the back here you have the power input the HDMI and then the network now this is only a 100 megabit uh, network uh, LAN connector so I kind of have problems with these uh, 100 megabits because I couldn't stream anything above like 20 gig our experience lag because of the the 100 uh, megabits restriction so what I have here is I purchased a Vention uh, USB 3 uh, gigabit LAN and uh, this worked uh, perfectly with this uh, box running call it lag because you don't need any driver for it, it's plug and play and it will detect automatically now I'm just going to show you the original firmware uh, Android 7.1 TV OS and then I'm going to show you what's the difference running Core Elect now what you see here is the original firmware Android 7.1 TV OS now this is the actual TV OS and not the uh, kind of a phone Android phone software what I have here is YouTube which can run at 4k and I run Kodi for all my media player needs now what I don't like about Kodi running on Android is that it kind of sluggish and laggy at times and it crashes it needs to be reboot things like that and that's why I decided to go to Core Elec and also one thing is that the newer Android TV box that comes with uh, Android 8 and above doesn't support HD audio pass-through now one way to bypass it is to install Core Elect and you can get uh, HD audio pass-through on all these newer Android box now the other problem with uh, most of the Android TV box is that it doesn't support variable refresh rate now movies are shot in 20 frames per second and uh, if uh, you have an Android box that doesn't support variable refresh rate you might feel some jerkiness watching on your TV now by switching over to Core Elect Core Elect supports 24 frames auto frame rate switching and I'll show it to you later that is working great now I'm gonna boot up Core Elect now and show you what Core Elect is now the boot up time for Core Elect is very fast too as compared to booting up Android now you're totally bypassing Android now and I'm booting from the uh, micro SD card into Core Elect firmware the good thing is that you don't delete your Android uh, software at all basically if you unplug the SD card you are booted back to the Android software now what you see here now is the uh, Core Elect so Core Elect is a just enough OS Linux distribution based on Kodi technology for popular M-Logic hardware 
So the difference here in Core Elect is that you boot straight into Kodi. So basically, your operating system is Linux running Kodi. Now I'm going to head into the system uh, to show you a couple of things inside the system. Now on the player, I have the video set to uh, playback, adjust display, refresh rate, on, start and stop. What it does is that uh, it will tell the TV to automatically adjust the ref display uh, refresh rate to match the content refresh rate. Now this will make your movie running silky smooth. And then out here I have uh, heading to the system on the audio part. Now audio pass through, I turn it on and you can see that it supports everything DTS capable, true HD capable, DTS HD capable receiver and I've tested it, it supports uh, DTS X pass through also and uh, Adobe Atmos pass through so it's working really well now over here I'll just show you a bit about the Aeon Nox Silver skin now I have uh, pictures I have the background set to multiple image so it will just scroll through different image now this is my favorite section and this is the power and I have games, videos now Kodi supports a lot of add-on and they are under apps section here I'll just show you what I have now I have a fan and the auth so this is how fans look like and uh, I can go on the movies for example what's trending and it's got a nice uh, UI for instance this is what you see okay for the UI here you can see that uh, it's 4k at 30 Hertz so I'm gonna play a movie and uh, show you that it switched to uh, 24 frames per second So you can see that now it's, uh, the movie is running at 24 hertz. Now the good thing about this is that uh, you can actually uh, use the embedded subtitle or even download from the internet. and uh, we adjust the brightness, the contrast even the audio so this is a DDS HD master audio and I'll just go and switch over to the M and uh, show you that it's actually encoding in X Master Audio. And look at the info here. And, uh, so this is uh, actually 4K HEBC DDS HD Master Audio 7.1. This is how you can turn a cheap Android box into one of the most powerful TV box that supports all the HD audio pass-through and also variable refresh rate. 
You don't have to buy expensive TV box like the uh, Nvidia Shield to do that. With a cheap TV box, you can achieve the same results. So at the end of this video, you will have all those TV box that supports Core and Lag. Thank you guys for watching this video.